All right, YouTube. This video here is how to oil your receiver on your AR. Now, a lot of people think it might be the receiver's at fault, but a lot of times it'd be their the owner's fault because they don't have their gun oiled like it needs to be. And most of the time, how you can tell if it's not oiled like it should be is now I don't have the upper receiver on here I just have the lower receiver but of course you know when the upper receiver is on there it pulls this back and reset supposed to reset the lower receiver now one thing you want to look out for you have your finger on the trigger don't pull it yet but go ahead and cock it hold it because you don't want to damage your receiver by letting that fly up and just hitting all metal and nothing to hit against now, when you hit that, and it happens so fast, your finger will be on the trigger, of course, and it really doesn't matter if your finger is not on the trigger because the receiver, I mean, the trigger is going to stay back. Now, once it fires, it's going to try to reset. Now, once you let your finger off the re-trigger, you should hear that click. And you see that hammer pop up, that means it reset, and it's ready for another fire. Then it's going to reset again, finger off the trigger, it resets. Fire, reset. Fire, reset. Now, if yours not doing that, this here is what you need to oil. You don't have to go oiling everything up. You oil that catch right there. And that little catch right there. You put a drop of oil on that. Like so. And the gun is oiled. Trust me. You don't need to oil everything. You just need to oil the reset catch. Now, you know, hit it. Pull the trigger. And fires. Cocks back. Ready to reload the chamber and resets. That hammer should reset. Like so. Hold it so it don't damage your receiver. Fire. Bam. Reset. Reset. Bam. Fire. Reset. Bam. Fire. Reset. Bam. And that is how you know your receiver has been oiled and is ready to fire. 